What's going on, Aries? Let's do an energy check-in for you. Just did Libra. Libra reading felt weird as fuck because there's a Libra. <clears throat> it's a bitch-ass Libra, though. It's, it's, it's not, it's not a, a good Libra. It's a bitch-ass Libra up in here. That's, uh... That's doing something behind the scenes. And I don't know why people would, like, do that. Because, like, <clears throat> as an Aries, like, I could pick up shit. Somebody could be a spiritual bully, a narcissist. All right. Um, welcome to my channel, Aries. Let's get ready to tap in. I feel like this is going to be one of them readings. Um, I'm not trying to pop off in this read, though. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're a new Aries, what's up? Welcome to my channel. To all my day one, 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 one. To all my day one subscribers, what's up? Hey, let's get into this reading. Let's see what's coming to you. Libra reading was very weird. In that reading, I was talking about someone here that got uh, a feminine energy that could have been like an ex-friend of yours, pregnant. Um, an ex-friend of theirs pregnant. Um, so it's, it's given when fulfilling a fantasy goes wrong. So somebody here was fantasizing about an energy and then they ended up getting that fantasy pregnant. Somebody that was supposed to just be a one night only. I just want one night only. I don't know if that's a song. Let's see though. What's coming to you, Aries? <laughs> What's coming to my Aries? Look like some type of luck that you ain't ready for. You ain't ready for this luck to come in. You about to be on a lucky streak, Aries. Something here is coming for you. Family. This could be a family coach or are you getting some knowledge about a family, or about your background. Um, you could be doing like a, an ancestry DNA type thing. 222 two, two on the clock. Um... Something here about a choice, too, that you may have to make in regards to a family or something like that. This could be a family coach or you could be getting get, getting advice from a family member of yours. So whoever this is, you could share kids with this person or this could be a Taurus, a Gemini, a an Aries Taurus, Gemini, Cancer. Somebody here you're getting advice from. You're getting some type of advice from this person possibly as to what you should do i feel like you guys having a peaceful week even though people been sending hate your way even though they've been trying to cause you to be cast of, you know to experience some type of misfortune this could have been someone here that could have been trying to curse you hex you aries i mean what's new we always get the backlash and we always get the hate but the thing people need to understand about aries we are the guys of war so People could be strategic all they want. We actually win wars. They win little, little measly little battles. But when it comes to the war, Aries, we win that shit. And that's why people hate us. People don't like Aries like that. And it's okay. We're not here to be fucking liked. We're not here. We're here to evolve. And we're here to do what's right. They don't never like their boss. They don't never like their leader. But I guarantee you the leader is going to make good decisions. We're not here to be fucking liked. We're here to on the mission. So who gives a fuck if they like us or not? Okay? But I guarantee you, ain't nobody pushing nobody. No, Ain't no bitch finna make me move nowhere. Ain't no bitch moving me. Okay? What a curse. Because they done vowed and they, they did this. They tried to vow something here about your gifts. Or to give you a gift or somebody wants to reassure you. They could be planning to reassure you because they see things now. Somebody is seeing clearly that they need to remove the mask. Or I can see clearly now the rain is gone. You're just not up for no bullshit. Not no bullies. Like, man, I feel like Aries, like, you're the quiet strategist. Like, you're like, okay. Like, you're the type of person that people like to pick 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 but then when you sit up there you be strategic i'm strategic on this way okay you picking on me i'm not gonna say nothing to you i'm not gonna call your name out i know who you're doing it i know who's doing it though but i'm not gonna say your name mm -mm. i'm gonna make move behind the scenes 
We moving behind the scenes. But see, this is how they underestimate you because they thought that you was going to lash out. Oh, you're an Aries. You're impulsive. You're ah! No, bitch. We evolved around here. We don't do none of that. We not finna lash out. It's, it's okay. It's okay. We gonna have the last laugh, baby. What's coming to you, Aries? Peace, calmness, inner peace. Some of y'all could be meditating a lot. You could be getting coach or you could be getting knowledge here. You knowing your word, period. Let's go, Aries. Let's go, Aries. You doing good merit making. You loving yourself. Let's go. Somebody can't get to you. You're not letting these, you're not, okay, let me stop. Cause I can, I, I got a mouth on me. I do. I have a mouth on me, but I'm learning how to tame that. 55, 55, 55, five. Some type of changes is coming for you, Aries. Or if this is a, some abrupt changes coming to the spiritual narcissist. This could be someone here that's a spiritual bully that could have been trying to bully you. I don't take bullies too well because, bitch, come see me. I ain't with all that. Put the address in. Slide through. What's up? I don't do the internet beef. I don't do all of that. If you want to see me, come see me. You want to meet up somewhere, come and meet up somewhere. I do that. I'm not, I'm, I'm too classy for that. I'm not about to sit up here rumbling over no man. I'm not about to be fighting over no man. I'm not fighting just because what are we fighting for? People don't have nothing to lose. So I'm finna fight you. I'm finna fight you. No, nah, you run up on me. You gonna get done dirty. Tell you right. Ain't nobody. You run up on me. You gonna fall into that trap, baby. Cause I ain't, uh, ain't nobody doing that. You run up. You gonna get sued. People don't understand that. Like I said, when you're the god of war, like you do your research. You do your research on your enemies. I know I do. I do my research on my enemies. I'm going to scope you out. I want to learn about my enemy. Let me learn about who you are because you're my enemy, right? Yeah, yeah, let me learn about you. What's your first name? What's your last name? What's your birthday? What's your address? Oh, okay. And you trying to come for me? Okay. It's a whole list of them, Aries. They all collaborated to go against you. It's a whole list of people you know about. You know about all your enemies that have been in cahoots, that have been collaborating. You know. They couldn't disturb you, though. They couldn't attach this disturbance on you. They couldn't cause you no irritation. And I'm speaking for all Aries, whether it's in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, North Node, wherever the fuck you got Aries at. A lot of people got Aries in their chart. People have underestimated you. Yeah, this group... That could have been trying to get you to fall into a trap. These energies could have been indulging on trying to make you homeless. But you ain't going nowhere. You not about to be homeless. They fell into a trap here. For some of you, they fell into a trap. Now they finna get locked up. Everybody that collaborated. This was a bad idea. Because they did not fulfill their goal. They did not fulfill their mission. At all. So you could be traveling. Yeah, because you do good. So something here about you traveling, maybe you're going to be teaching, um, you're going to be teaching people possibly how to love themselves or something like that, Aries. Mm -hmm. I'll be tired of people like just because, and I've always been the type of person that's been quiet. I don't just bother nobody, man. I've been a quiet person. I don't fuck with nobody. I don't bother nobody. But when you fuck with me and you put my back up against the wall, now I'm going to come out swinging and I guarantee you I'm going to win. But I meant swinging in a metaphoric type of way. Like I'm not finna sit up here and mess up my face, mess up my nails, mess up anything. I'm, I'm not messing up shit. I'm not finna be out there rumbling, getting scratches and bruises all over my face. That was the old me back in the day. I beat a bitch ass in a heartbeat. Ain't no, don't get it twisted. See, the thing is, when you're pretty and you look good, you stay to yourself. Spiritual people ain't nothing but just some changed thugs. That's all they are. I used to be about that drama. Used to be about that drama. Used to be. I didn't, it, listen, it, I'll check a person in a minute. Oh, they said, what about me? I'm walking up to you and I'm going to check you. 
We ain't finna do that. I'm not finna talk about you behind your back. You ain't gonna hear shit that I said. Because I'm gonna come to you to your face. My little crystal thingy. I need to get some more of those. I'm gonna come, I'm gonna come straight up to you. To your face. Ain't no none of that behind that bullying nobody. I ain't bullying shit. What I gotta bully people for? What I gotta do that for? What's coming to you, Aries? Let me shut up. Because I feel like a fake friend could be coming to propose some type of offer to you. This could be somebody here fake as fuck in your family. All right? Or whatever this is. Or somebody's trying to hide their feelings for you, Aries. Which is, you know what I mean? This person you have a love story with. They trying to hide their feelings. Oh, Aries, I'm not in love with you. I don't love you. I'm not in love with you. I don't love you, Aries. The lover's right there. Okay. Go ahead and lie to yourself. What's, the, what's coming to you, Aries? <laughs> You're not fighting for shit. Fighting for what you love because coming out in reverse. Fighting for what you love. Claiming what's yours. Love is a battlefield. You're not fighting for love. It is what it is with you. You're not fighting for no bond. You're not fighting to have no... You're surrendering this shit. You're like, okay. Whatever. It is what it is. I feel like you could be gaining knowledge or something like that, Aries. I don't know. What's, what's coming to Aries? A hater. This could be a hater that's trying to get some advice for you from you, or this hater is getting knowledge from you. So your biggest hater is learning from you. So may, let me make this make sense. You don't like Aries, but you learn it from Aries, right? You would never know how we think. You would never know what goes through our mind because you're a hater. You can't sit with us, Aries. Because we the lone ones. We sit by our fucking selves. You can never be us. Half the time, we don't even want to fucking be us. We go through so many challenges that we have to persevere from 12-12. We don't even want to be fucking Aries. Do you know the weight that we have on our fucking shoulders? Somebody's keeping a promise. What's the messages? Give me Aries. Falling apart. Falling into pieces. Somebody wants you to fall into pieces. Whoever this mystery woman is. Okay. They want you to fall into pieces, Aries. I feel like you still have inner peace. You're still in control of your energy. You're still good. This is someone here that's literally trying to break your ass. Like they want to break you down like a fucking pound, bro. They really want to break you down. Or somebody is falling apart because you have inner peace. After everything that they done threw at your ass, you still got inner peace. And this is my job. And if there's any Aries out here that feel like they can't persevere, watch this fucking video. I guarantee 1313, 13, I'm going to lift your ass up. Because we ain't trying to bring nobody down. I'm tired of that shit. Especially within our race. No shade to any other races. And I hate to bring that up, but it's always our race that bring each other down. You my sister. Why are you doing me like this? You my bro. Why are you doing me like this? Why is it like that? Even in the tarot community. Bitch, what we got to compete for? You bleed just like me. You intuitive just like me. What I'm competing with you for, sis? I'm going to congratulate you. What you got to do spell work on me for, sis? What's up, with, what's up with all of that? Why do you got to feel like you're more powerful than me? What, what's going on? Isn't that, aren't we all here doing the same thing? We all here doing God work. 14, I'm catching them synchronicities. We all here doing God work. Spreading kindness, trying to heal the world, raise the vibration. And then we got our own people in the spiritual community attacking us. This some bullshit. What's coming to you, Aries? Tantric sex. After a divorce, somebody wants to make love to you or they want to have tantric sex. Yeah, somebody's at the breaking a contract or maybe you could be breaking some type of contract if you're, if you, um, or whatever this is. This could be someone here that could be making a um, bad choice by getting a room, a hotel, a motel suite. Business pleasure is a bad choice. 
because I feel like there's going to be someone that is going to be recording you there. Whoever this is that you're planning a date with or you're planning to have a one night stand with Aries, your intuition is telling you something here about a love story. Okay. Or to use protection with this person that hates nothing about you because they could be going through some type of divine intervention or they get in karma right now. This person could be getting thrown away, getting rid of, tossing out because they was feeling up for fantasy and they got caught up for feeling up for fantasy with this person. Now they felt, you know, they feeling destroyed. Okay, so now they're trying to surrender everything and keep a promise to you because they got kicked to the curb. And now the police could be involved with this person that's sleeping around a hot free for all, sleeps with your man. Whoever this is, they like to sleep with somebody. Somebody's getting caught. They got busted. We got sex shop here. This could have been some type of sex shop that got busted with a whole bunch of... I'm picking up underage girls as well. Somebody going to jail. Are they getting busted? Justice, divorce is in reverse. Balance or judgment. A decision has not been made. Maybe you didn't make a decision about this new love. Or whoever this new love is, you have this person in their feelings. So now they could be putting on a show because you're setting the record straight. And somebody didn't expect you to have emotional intelligence. Yeah, there's an investigation going on about who's cheating on who or who's doing this with a third party. Or who's keeping who a secret. A snake. That could be coming to give you a fake apology. Aries, it's bullshit. I, I, I'm really picking up. It's, it's a lot of bullshit in your reading. It's a lot of bullshit. What's coming to Aries? This is why you could be in a four source position. You're like, nah, I made peace with this shit. I'm good. Yeah. I wouldn't do shit with nobody or whatever. You can talk to people all day. But I would not, I'm not meeting up with nobody. Don't ask me. Don't ask me to meet up with you. Don't ask me to do shit with you. Don't ask me to go out with you. I'm not doing shit. Yes, I like being home because that's where my stuff is. I can make my own fish, fry my fish, make me some damn hush puppies. I can make me some food here. Okay. I could kick my feet up. I could watch TV. This way, It costs money to go outside. Ain't nobody going outside. Don't nobody want to go outside. We have inner peace at home. Everything is balanced here. Got my cat, my fur babies. What's coming to Aries? What, what is this? I'm sorry, Aries. If I had to, I just had to pop off for a little bit. Because I really, really be tired. We have the three of wands. So a hater that learns from you could be waiting on you. Or oh, this is a hater that's whoever this is. We have the Knight of Cups. I can Scorpio um energy with the Knight of Cups. Scorpio Cancer Pisces. We got Aries Sun here with the three of wands. So this could be somebody here hating on you at a distance, but they're literally like learning from you, or they're getting advice from you, or they're getting knowledge from you, Aries, but they're hating on this is what I'll be talking about. So you hate on me from a distance from all the way over there, but you but you getting knowledge from me though. But you want to learn from me, though. Okay. All right. What's coming to you, Aries? Page of Pentacles. Four of Swords. Let me fuck you back to sleep, girl. Mm-hmm. Why is this not a cups coming towards you after you didn't gave up? I mean, I'm just baffled with this reading. I'm, I'm, I'm baffled, Aries. It's like the same people hating is the same people learning from you. The same people that want to team up with you. The same people that want to expand. I can't work with no hater. I'm sorry. Keep your hating ass at a distance. Literally. I don't want to be around nobody. Because what you got to hate on me for? What you got to hate on me for? This is the one here that's nowhere near around you. They're nowhere around you. This person possibly had you. Or this is somebody's third party that could have been hated. What are you hating for? I don't know about people be like, oh, if you ain't got no haters, you ain't popping. Don't nobody, I don't want nobody hating on me, bro. 
I want people to get inspired by me. I don't want no fucking haters. That's how you create a target. I don't want nobody to hate me. Spread love, genuine love. Like only the only people, man. Okay, I'm, I was gonna say something. What's this Knight of Cups? I don't want nobody hating on me. There is no reason to hate on me at all whatsoever. I have struggled. I have been poor. I have been broke. I have been homeless. Just like everybody else that had to persevere and go through shit is no reason to be a hater. What's the Knight of Cups? Now, somebody wants to, to propose some type of offer towards you or they want to come and date you. They could be following their heart after you done gave up a King of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. The King of Cups could be watching you at a distance. The Three of Wands, they're in love with you. What's the King of Cups here? This person's coming in emotionally balanced, empathetic. What they want with you. This could be someone here that you got children with or you have some type of background with that you're not fighting for love with this person because you don't love them. Just Period. You're not in love with them. You got love for this person. Yeah, you got love for them. But they may want to come and date you. You're not fighting for you're not fighting for this love. You been there, you done that. What's the nine of cups? What the fuck is this? I mean the king of cups, the page of swords. Okay, because they're watching you, Aries, or they're curious about you. Oh, Aries, what are you doing? But they're gossiping about you too. So this could be somebody here that's gossiping about you to their family or they're getting some type of knowledge from you. What's the page of swords? Gemini energy could have Gemini placements. What's the page of swords here for Aries? The ace of swords. Yeah, because they're watching you speak the truth. Or you have mental clarity because you're the fucking empress. And you're a wise empress with the hermit. Some of you could be older. So it's like somebody's trying to get some type of knowledge or insight or wisdom about coming to apologize to partner up with you but it's like if they partner up with you they're going to ten of swords you ten of wands you too so this is why you're protecting yourself from this person king of cups need to get the fuck out your energy just period what's the ace of swords excuse the profanity but i say what the fuck i want to say what's the ace of swords what's the ace of swords aries the sun card. So something here is being exposed or the truth is being exposed here. You could be exposing the truth, Aries. Give me one second. Let me go ahead and load Libra reading up real quick. I, it's just like when I got into your energy, Aries, just this energy just, just came over me, okay? I don't know because Libra reading was weird, but this reading I'm amped the, I'm amped up. Because I feel like, I don't know what I, I don't know what I'm feeling like. I really, really feel like I want to fight. I really do. Maybe you want to fight somebody. Maybe you want to fight someone, Aries. Or you want to beat somebody up. Or you want to slap the shit out of them. I don't know what you want to do to this person. But you want to beat somebody up. After this truth is exposed, maybe you're going to want to beat the shit out of somebody. After you find out who's been trying to spiritually bully you. Or whoever this narcissist is that could have been trying to come towards you. Maybe you may want to beat the fuck out this person, Aries. I don't know. Maybe you may want to fight. I'm really, really feeling that, feeling that Aries energy like I want to fight someone. Maybe you, when you find out who all been collaborating against you, Aries. Maybe you want to beat the shit out of Aries last one of them i don't know <laughs> but i'm just here to read the energy right so the truth is coming out are you exposing something or somebody knows that they want to have a new beginning with you a truthful or honest beginning with you aries or they want to rebirth something or something like that Okay, but this could be um this could be a pregnancy that's coming out or something here is being exposed, a pregnancy is being exposed, the empress is right here. Okay, whatever. What's the three of wands? <laughs> and if they find out you're pregnant and what they gonna do? What they gonna do? What's the three of wands? The ten of wands. So someone here is trying to what's the ten of wands? Three of wands? The eight of swords. <laughs> So you're helping someone get unstuck from a situation or you helping someone like release negative thoughts at a distance or you helping someone to like, yeah, that you're coaching someone on how to free themselves. To free themselves from some type of burden or responsibility, but this person possibly, I don't know if they're hating on you now. This could be a Sagittarius, a Gemini or an Aries, another Aries like yourself. You're teaching someone to... You're giving someone knowledge on how to free themselves from possibly something karmic or maybe to believe in themselves. What's the Eight of Swords? Ten of Wands. 
Yeah, what's the, yeah, the chariot. Somebody could be getting out of jail or they could be, um, Maybe you see something coming, Aries, or somebody thought that you were going to jail and you released yourself. So somebody, this person could be hating on you because you're not going to jail. Yeah, either someone forced you to do something or they were trying to force you to do something or you just didn't. You was something here was out of your control. And it's like they're you're not going to jail, but they're going to jail or whoever this is. You released yourself from something. The confirmation. What's the chariot? Cancer energy, Gemini energy, Sagittarius, Aries. What's the chariot? So you could be moving on at a distance. The six of cups. Yeah, wanting to reconcile. You could be going towards someone to reconcile. Or whoever this is is coming towards you to reconcile. This could have been someone here that was hating on you. They coming to reconcile. Or this could be a Cancer or a Scorpio. I don't know. But somebody's in their car and they're coming. They don't want you moving on. They're determined to get to you. All right. Who is this coming to reconcile with Aries? The King of Wands. A Knight of Cups. Somebody's thinking you finna have a one night stand with, with them. Whoever this King of Wands is, they could be, they're gonna be very disappointed. This could be a Leo. Okay. Could be another fire sign with uh libra scorpio placements or sagittarius placements or, or something like that but they're gonna they're gonna be in for a rude awakening if they think that you finna just open up your legs or pull down your pants and stick yeah it, it's a no it could be it could be somebody here that's on um, cancer leo cusp type of energy that could have been hating on you but they think that you You're gonna get them your time, your attention. All right, give me this. This person's obsessive. Give me the King of Wands, the Knight of Cups in reverse. This person's obsessive. Yeah, it's like somebody thinks that you're gonna sleep with them and they're gonna like. Oh, you think you're gonna fucking dump me? This is someone here that's thinking like, oh, I can just go and sleep with you, Aries, and then I'm out, bitch. Fuck you. You ain't getting shit. Whoever this is, this Eight of Cups, they think like, oh, I could just have a one night stand with you and then I'm gone. Who is King of Wands? Uh, somebody think they they just think they just they just think they they okay. This person hating on you, they hated on you. They like, well, all I gotta do is sleep with you, Aries, and then I'm gone. Or whatever this is. This person's obsessive over you. They're obsessing. Who is the King of Wands, bro? Who the King of Wands? This weak ass emperor in reverse. So this could be an Aries. Or this could be an absent father. This person that's reckless. Oh, they think that they could get something easy from you. And this is your biggest hater. So it's like either they took a step down. This is somewhere here that's supposed to be an emperor, but they're not. They're a king of wands. So it's like this person is stubborn. They're a tyrant and they're reckless. So they think that they could just come in and, and, and bring some, a wand to you and sleep with you and then, all right, I'm gone. I'm bounced. I'm bounced. I'm going to leave you. I'm walking away now. Woo, Aries. This is why, yeah, the Ten of Swords, the Five of Wands, yeah. This is like the energy that wants to put you in competition or they want to talk bad about you, but then they want to sleep with you too at the same time. Mm-hmm. They want to sleep with you, but then they want to talk bad about you. Get your weak ass out of here. It's giving a, uh, the Emperor in Reverse. Who is this? Who's the Emperor in Reverse? Weak ass. The Page of Cups that want to come in a so, so, not only do this person say, oh, I want to come in and love bomb you and then I'm going to leave. But I want to apologize. Like, somebody is, like, really, really weak. So, not only does this person get advice from you, Aries. Okay. Maybe they want you to listen to them. This person's head is fucked up. I want to teach this person. Yeah, the Ten of Swords. They the Ten of Swords. Gemini energy. 
Mm-mm. I'm gonna get this motherfucker a lick of my time at all. They could kiss your ass. From the rooter to the tutor. How about that? And then they wanna come back. Make it make sense. They wanna come back and play mind games. Bitch, go. Continue learning at a distance, ho. With your weird ass. It's a weird ass, fake ass emperor. And I said what I said. And I feel like that's what I be. I, I, ooh, Aries. It's like when you give somebody an inch, like, oh God, they want to take them out. Yeah. So now they want to come in with this weak offer or this weak ass cup. They better go on in this page. Oh, I want to be sweet to you, Aries, but I'm coming in to love bomb you. Give me the page of cups. Yeah, who this? Yeah, the nine of swords. They feeling guilty. They like, oh, I should have apologized to you, Aries. Oh, man, this person's nightmare. They're triggered. This person could have been trying to project on you, too, here as well. Gemini energy. Somebody here is the eight of, eight of swords, the nine of swords, and the ten of swords. The ace of pentacles, because they got legal fees they got to pay out. Somebody has to pay legal fees or they got a shitload of karma that they have to pay back when it comes to you. 3111. I don't know how many curse words I said in this reading. But, baby... I said a lot of them. I did. I really did. I said a lot of curse words. Okay. Because that's just like, it's just how you, the audacity of you wanting to learn from someone. But then you collaborate to, to do some fuck shit to Aries. Or they want to learn from you, but then they hate on you at the same time. Somebody mind. They, they, they mentally fuck. But I feel like Aries, you still have inner peace. You're still peaceful. Everything is still good for you. Simple for Aries. What's the page of pentacles? Motherfuckers just going to have to be mad. Yeah, the knight of wands, the three of wands. Somebody may be coming to chase you. There go that three of wands again. This could be a Sagittarius, an Aries energy that could be coming to ch uh, chase you. Or somebody here. Something here about you. Okay. You going after what's yours. I feel like something here is coming in fast. You could be traveling. What's this? Yeah, what's the Nine of Wands and the Three of Wands? What is this? A Queen of Cups. So a cancer could be coming towards you, chasing you. A cancer and a Sagittarius. Maybe their life is falling apart. And maybe they could be coming towards you. You, Because you're waiting for your ships to come in. Something is still good for you. Why is this Queen of Cups coming after you? What do they want with you? What is this Queen of Cups coming after you for? Because their life is falling apart. Yeah, Aries, my life is falling, falling apart. Everything is slowing down. The Knight of Pentacles. Oh, my God. I'm going bankrupt. I'm going broke. I have no money. The, the Moon card. The Four of Pentacles. Yeah. So so why is this? Why, why is their life falling apart? Let's Let's see. Because of a hierophant energy, a government entity, a government institution. Why is their life falling apart with this hierophant energy? Because somebody was paid off or they were bribed. Yeah. They were bribed. So, so did someone bribe a government worker? Did they do that, Aries? Hmm. So did somebody bribe a government worker to tennis sword you? And you already knew about it with the high priestess. You got over your ex. You ain't you ain't tripping. You ain't heartbroken. So the truth was revealed to you that somebody was in cahoots. So they're bribing this government worker or government entity to be quiet, to shh. Don't say anything. Don't say my involvement. But their life is falling apart right as we speak. Oh, okay, Aries. That's what this is. Somebody's a part of an organization or an institution that's getting bribed to shut the fuck up. What's the hierophant? Or somebody here has loyalty to this hierophant group or this hierophant energy or this organization, this institution. What's the hierophant energy here? Freedom of speech, right? So where is it? Where do they say it at that I got to take you out for speaking the truth? Why ain't they say touch not my anointed? Do my profit. My profit is no harm. Oh, oh, right. Some of you are speakers. What's the hierophant in a strength card? Ain't no page of pentacles. Yep, payouts. 
payout because I'm caught up. I don't want to get caught. Yeah, well, you're caught already. Whoever this water sign is, you're caught. Yeah, they're rushing to this person here. I feel like you're still cool while these energies' lives is falling apart. What's the four of swords? What is up, what's up with this tantric sex? <laughs> oh, the emperor. Now they want to come out in the upright. Who, who, who is this emperor? The queen of wands. So a Leo and an Aries or whoever this is with fire in their chart could have been having some tantric sex together. Why? Or, or this is you or this is you coming out as the queen of wands or this emperor is looking at you very attractive. Who the queen of wands? Five of cups. I feel like you forgave this person, Aries, or, you know, I don't know, or maybe you could be seeking forgiveness or this person seeking forgiveness with you. Give me the emperor. The two of cups. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like somebody broke up after they had sex with this person. This could have been some type of tantric sex to get their desires. So like meditative sex to so and somebody this person can have Scorpio placements. Whoever this queen of wands is. I don't feel like this is you. This person had sex with this person, some type of tantric sex with them. This is a karmic soulmate, the two of cups in reverse. This person's not in love with them. You're, I don't know, Aries. This is your energy. Maybe you're not in love with this queen of wands. I don't know. Maybe you don't want to partner up. There, there's no compatibility. Maybe you feel like you're not compatible with this, this queen of wands here. Yeah. So somebody already done did the do. Yeah, the ten of wands could be a Sag. Maybe you feel like someone is too much of a burden for you or like they just too they just be doing too much or whatever. Yeah, give me the emperor. So why do you feel like that? I mean, I'm confused. Why do you feel like this person's a burden? Because they take too long or they slow or they're just too methodical with an offer or maybe they have too many responsibilities or they just got too much on their plate and you're like, no, I don't want you. You got too many responsibilities. You got too much going on. I'm the emperor. I want to be the one that's put first. So, so maybe this queen of wands, you feel like this person is all over the place, but they have too many responsibilities or something here is just moving slow with them. All right. So you feel like you're not compatible with this person because you feel like they're going to be a burden on you. They don't do shit. Maybe they stay, they stuck or they don't make shit happen or whatever this is that it has for them to grow. It's like they can't grow. They stay, the, the nine of pentacles is someone here that's stuck in, in one place. Like you're like, nah, you're going to be a burden for me. Maybe you want to move fast here. I see the emperor's poking out. Yeah. You want to move fast. So, okay. The world card. What's the world? So the cycle is closing out. You made peace with it. Yeah. You see how my energy just like when the emperor is on the, in the upright over here, my energy is just like, <sighs> it's just flowing through besides this emperor in reverse right here. Whoever this is, I don't know who this emperor is in reverse, but they keep trying to come and love bomb you. So it's like they keep trying to come and love bomb you. Then they feel guilty or they're like, oh my God, what have I done? But then as soon as I get over here, like I get calm so this is like someone here that like, man, ugh, like I got to have, I got to fuck something. And it's like when they bust a nut, they like, ah, oh, I'm good now. All right, I'm back. I'm, I'm, I'm the emperor again. <sighs> I'm straight. I'm peaceful now. I'm good. After I bust this nut, yeah, I'm good. So somebody, you could have been sexually frustrated, Aries. And you mad because... Somebody wouldn't let you love bomb them. I mean, Aries, I mean, I, I mean, if you the emperor in the upright, it ain't hard to get no at all. So, <laughs> at all. Yeah, so you ghosted someone. All right, Aries. I don't know, man. Okay. I'm, I'm not finna go there. Shit. It's your life. What's coming to you, though, Aries? What's coming to Aries? Yeah, something here about what you did in the past. Haunted. Why are you haunted about something that you did in the past, Aries? Yeah, because I feel like somebody predicted this. And I, I feel like somebody's haunted from a tarot reader. 
So memories, flashbacks, trauma, side effects. When somebody predicts, it haunts them. Like, oh my God, you know what I did to you? Yeah, they're fucking psychic. Next. Like, it's just giving like, yeah. And they're not having passionate thoughts about you either. This could have been somebody here that was predicting that someone was having passionate thoughts or trying to do some sex magic. It ain't working. What's next, Aries? What's coming to you? Yeah, you done had enough of the bullshit. You had enough of it. What's coming to you, Aries? What's coming to you, Aries? Yeah, somebody here that's creeping. Who this is that's creeping on you, baby? They want to give you an offer. What's the offer here? A talking shit. Yeah, somebody's talking shit about an offer that you're receiving. This could be about a jackpot and they're pissed. Like, oh my God, Aries is going to get that jackpot. They're going to get that inheritance. They're going to get what's theirs. Yeah. They're going to get what's... Yeah. Give me talk. What's this? Talking shit. Yeah, and the third party, an obsessive. Who is this third party? Because I'm so, I'm, I'm really like, I want to know who this is, Aries. Who the third party is? Let's see. Who the third party? Clarified obsessed. Oh, they don't want to be seen. This, per, this person's in denial that they're a third party or they're an obsessed person. Could be a Pisces, Aquarius energy. Clarified uh, um, obsessed third party. So they don't know that they're a side chick or a side bitch. The magician, Virgo, Gemini energy, whoever this is, they keep, they're obsessed with doing magic on you to create some type of change. I don't know what change they're trying to create. What's this third party? The Aries. Eight of Pentacles. So the third party is the people that you work with. So the third party is doing work, doing magic on your work. Whatever you have developed. So the third party is people that's all in your fucking business. Who the third party? The world. Everybody's a third party. Everybody want to be. Everybody just wants to be in Aries business. Right? But then they get hurt from watching you. Because, oh my God, Aries, you're attacking me. You're speaking too much truth. Oh, shut the fuck up and take it. You can't handle it. I have to attack you. The Knight of Swords. Gemini energy. Sagittarius energy. Virgo energy. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. We have Libra. Virgo. Did I say Virgo? And Gemini. <sighs> A Gemini man. That's karmic as hell. Can I have some money, please? Trying to tap into your accounts. Oh. Your social media, your banking info, your phone. Wow, Aries. Damn. Isn't that something? Bipolar, schizophrenia. So some of you may think that you're this, but this is just in your new spiritual gifts. This is a DNA activation. Some of you are grand crosses, or you have a grand cross, grand trine, a grand cardinal cross, cancer, Capricorn, Libra, and Aries. It goes like this in your chart. It's like a T, a grand cardinal cross. I was going to say something, but that would have been arrogant of me. We have knock, knock, open the door. Your spiritual inheritance is here. We have a Gemini moon. Sex crime. I told you, Aries. Sex crimes and trafficking. Somebody's getting locked up for that. Like I said, it could have been an underage girl. Somebody wants to give you some penis. I don't think you, I think, I think the fuck not. I think you don't want the penis. I don't give a damn how big it is. It's, your, it's time to do a banishing spell. I don't give a damn how big the penis is or whatever this is. This could be energy that's deliberately trying to hurt you. So this could be someone here that slept with, trying to sleep with your DM on their birthday. So they're trying to do beauty spills, cause you to have acne, face burns, rashes. Um, they're trying to get you to age or for you to have like some type of body dysmorphia. Wrap it up. If you want something sex-based. If someone here wants to sleep with your DNA, they need to wrap it up. I'm a hypocrite. That seems knowledgeable, but I don't listen to my own advice because I just want something sex-based. Aries, there's a Capricorn hating on you. I'm so tired of this Capricorn. I'm so tired of this. I'm so tired of this Capricorn. 
bitch really wants some attention. Pressed as fuck. There's no reason to, reason to be hating. What is this Capricorn hating on you for? Let's see. Since you want to come off of in the energy. Something here about Charleston, South Carolina. A masculine lie to the karmic to make it seem like they're not in love with you is lies. Oh, okay. So Capricorn. Okay, something here about Texas. Give me this Capricorn that's hating on you. Indiana. Something here about pregnancy. Solar plexus. Oh, dream home. Oh, Aries, you about to get something. That's what that is. And this cult leader is mad. Okay, I'm glad you came into my life. King of Pentacles. Generous, loving, loyal, good businessman, caring, stable, and practical. Oh, okay, because you believe in your magic. Something that had to do with you being native. Blackfeet, Blackfeet, Cherokee. 4555. Okay, Aries. Let's see. We have, oh, I got one of your friends. Oh, so the Capricorn that could have been trying to fuck with your DM is pregnant by your DM. Huh? And they think you don't know about it. Okay. Somebody getting 25 in life. And your ancestors are proud of, you, proud of you, Aries. You're a generational curse breaker. Period. And that's that's just what it is. They mad because they getting 25 in life with no fucking parole. And that's just the way the fucking cookie crumbles. Like I said, they could win the little battles, but you win the war. And I'm going to leave it there. Like, comment, subscribe. Bye, Aries.